Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Mayor McCormick, the floor is all yours. Good morning. Thank you, Principal Salento, for the opportunity to be here today to address the students and to you. Uh, first, I want to say congratulations. You've all just done something that you're going to have to do for the rest of your life, which is you have distinguished yourself from your peers. You look around, not every kid in Isla Middle School is here. In fact, a small fraction of kids are here, and you're one of them. And you should feel very proud and very happy about that accomplishment. But I have to challenge you and warn you that it means nothing unless when you go on to Kennedy High School, you become a member of the National Honor Society. That's the big one. That's the three words when put on your application to college. The person reading that application will know all about you, even though they'll never meet you. College, college recruiters get thousands of applications to go to their schools. And they pick hundreds or a couple of thousand out of 10 or more thousand applications. And they need to distinguish, because they're not going to interview 10,000 people. And when they see National Honor Society, they know instantly you're a good citizen, that you have good character, that you're a leader. And then I think the two most important ones are scholarship and service. They know you're bright. They know you're smart. You wouldn't get to the, even to apply if you didn't have the great scores and the great grades. But then they know by the fact that you're in NHS that you are service-oriented, that you care about other people more than you care about yourself. And you've proven that now in 7th and 8th grades. But again, it doesn't mean anything if you don't go to 11th and 12th grades and prove it again and get those two, those three letters, the words on your resume. I went to the Kennedy Honor Society a couple of weeks ago and I was amazed at the colleges that these kids are getting into. Johns Hopkins, Rensselaer, Boston College, Rutgers Honors, NJIT Honors. It was amazing seeing what happened in Kennedy and all those kids and every one of them had National Honor Society on their application and that made a big difference to someone reading that piece of paper. Some of you it'll be happening in three years, some of you it'll be happening in four years. I'm not trying to scare you, but think about it. Think about continuing to distinguish yourself from your peers like you just did and you'll be much better off for it and you'll have a much better college career and you'll have a much better a career afterwards, whether it's law or medicine or engineering or whatever you decide, you'll have a much better chance at a great career if you get into the college you want and being in the National Honor Society will help. And I just want to congratulate the parents too. Not all your peers are here. You have a lot of friends whose kids are in this school and they're not here either. So I think you should all be very proud of the fact that your kid is sitting up here on the stage. How about you guys? Give them a round of applause. So congratulations on producing the kind of kid that made it here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor McCormick. So my speech is very similar in some strange ways and a little different in another. Um, I'd like to first congratulate all of you and to your families for the achievement of being inducted into the Isla Middle School Honor Society. This distinction, as Mayor McCormick has already said, sets you apart from your peers. Keeping along the path of your academic achievements and your volunteering of time to the greater community, I want you to think about your purpose. What are your goals over the next couple of years? It should be to, when you hit 11th and 12th grade, be inducted into the National Honor Society, among so many other things. And I ask you to think about your dedication of purpose. This ceremony marks the official opening of your commitment to two things. One being your academic performance, and the second being the pillars that shape your character, which you're soon going to hear about from each of you. Academically, you are willing and dedicated to learn, and you already strive to be the straight A child, to be the child that wants more academically, and you strive for academic excellence. That started your path here. However, along the path of academic achievement, your character needs to shape. You are now at that adolescent age where your character is going to shine. So I pose these questions to you. Who are you as a person? Who will you be as you get older as a person? 
Do you have empathy? How about integrity? Are you a moral person? Respect. Do you respect yourself? Do you respect others? Do you know the true definition of respect? Optimism. Can you see the good when others only see the bad? Do you look at a glass half full or do you see it half empty? And finally, how about achievement? We know that you can achieve good grades. You're here because of that. We know that right now you do the right things because you're here because of that as well. As educators, we know that you can. As children and as parents, right now we know that you can. But will that you can continue? And how will that shape you as a person in a bigger world, as you grow, as you mature? Those are the questions that I pose to you. Those are the challenges that I put to you. Congratulations, and now Dr. Zaga. Good morning. It's a pleasure and a privilege to join Mrs. Salento and the staff at Island Middle School, board member A.J. Sedana, Mayor McCormick, and all of our parents and friends who are gathered here this morning in celebrating the Island Middle School, Island Middle School Honor Society. Today, the Island Middle School Honor Society inducts another class of outstanding students. As superintendent, I have the distinct honor of attending many of these ceremonies, both in middle school and high school. Many of you who are here today will also be inducted into your high school honor societies, go on to college, and live wonderful, prosperous lives. And that's really what it's all about, is living prosperous lives. I believe that you will accept the challenge laid out before you today, and I believe that you will have prosperous lives. As I look on your faces, I see future doctors and lawyers. I see poets and engineers, teachers and professors. Some of you may be first responders, saving lives for a living. Some of you may enter the medical field and help the sick or injured. I can imagine there's a successful business owner among you, a political leader, a senator, a president. There may even be the future mayor of Woodbridge sitting somewhere up here on the stage. I see artists, singers, dancers, and musicians. I'm confident that whatever path you choose, you'll be your very best. Your boundless futures are bright. You've already taken the first step towards success. Your journey towards success begins with this first step, and we're here today, this morning, to celebrate that first step. Multimillionaire businessman Wayne Huizenga once said, some people dream of success, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. My message to you today is to continue to make it happen every day. Congratulations to, to the Island Middle School Honor Society Class of 2019. Best of luck to you in high school. Keep making great choices. Keep making it happen. And I'm confident you will have successful futures. Thank you, congratulations, and God bless America. Mr. Sedana. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, there's not much for me to say. Uh, Dr. Zega had a wonderful speech. Mrs. Salento, thank you for having me here. It is an honor and privilege to be here. Thank you for the parents for being here. Thank you, Mayor McCormack. I know he had to leave. Uh, always be a kid. Always. K-I-D, be kind, right? I, be inquisitive, have integrity. A lot of things I can say about that. And always be dedicated. Dedicated to what you want to do for yourself. That's it. Always be a kid. Be kind, have integrity, be inquisitive, be curious, be industrious. A lot of things you can do with I. Like the iPhone. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's going live, so I don't want to get sued by Apple. Disclaimer. Uh, always be a kid. Enjoy yourself. You've dedicated yourself to being here, to your work, to your academic achievement, and then whatever else all these wonderful people say, your parents are supporting you. Um, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have something inside of you that wants to grow. So nurture it. Take care of it. 
and always be a kid. Thank you very much. We'll now begin the candlelight ceremony. Empathy. Empathy is, at its simplest, awareness of the feelings and emotions of other people. It is a key element of emotional intelligence, the link between self and others, because it is how we as individuals understand what others are experiencing as if we were feeling it ourselves. Empathy allows us to understand and share the feelings of others. It is a heartfelt combination of walking in another person's shoes and feeling their pain. Empathy facilitates helping behaviors which come from you rather than those which are forced. Because of empathy, we behave in a more compassionate manner. Being empathetic gives you more flexibility in gaining other skills, dealing with leadership, teamwork, and citizenship. Embracing and nurturing empathetic qualities within gives you the ability to overcome complexities and respond to a situation instead of reacting. Empathy leads you to be in a position which you can effectively lead and inspire others in a kind manner. With empathy, you are bound to become a better leader, worker, friend, and a person. If you are all empathetic, we can experience the world in a much bigger way, not just listening to your own thoughts along the way, but those of others around you as well. Integrity. C.S. Lewis once said, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. In life, we are faced with decisions that are either going to help us become better people or slow us down. As individuals, we have to maintain our integrity, which has brought you all here today. It means that every single one of you practice good morals and maintain strong principles every day. Not only do you respect yourself, but you also respect and value the people around you. Integrity is a quality in which your actions and thoughts are not based upon personal gain. The choices you make come with honor and being honest with yourself. Yes, it may not always be easy making the right choice, but that is why integrity makes someone stand out. It is an important quality of an Islam Middle School Honor Society inductee, and I am positive that all of you will continue to uphold strong morals in the future. Respect, one word that unifies many in unexpected ways. Respect is showing concern and consideration to everyone and everything. By respecting others, we are portraying how much we care about each other. By respecting others, we aren't looking at our differences, but uniting in our similarities. We are treating people the way we would like to be treated, and this can open the doors for kindness, friendship, and love. By presenting this concept to all, it can make the world the best place it can be. It is important for each IMS Honor Society student to display this quality, for it will teach others around them to do the same.
Optimism. Optimism is having confidence that the outcome of a job well done will be successful. It is one's ability to carry out tasks, hoping for the best outcome even when victory is uncertain. Optimistic individuals strive for the best without fail. They inspire their peers to follow in their steps as they seek to reach their goals. Optimism is a vital quality needed in each member of Islam Middle School Honor Society. Napoleon Hill once said, great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice and is never the result of selfishness. Leaders never strive to achieve for themselves, nor do they neglect the progress and prosperity of their communities. Our ambitions must be pursued in a way that is broad enough to include the needs and aspirations of others as well. Achieving out of selfishness is nothing but a liability. Your achievements should reinforce the vitality of giving back, and they should lead you to a path to become a better person. The overall achievement is not the outcome, but rather the satisfaction of knowing how hard you have worked and seeking how hard your hard work has paid off. The most rewarding of achievements, however, is consistently striving to surpass yourself and to be worthy of your own approval. Taking ownership of your achievements ensures pure compassion and propels you forward as it allows you to exhibit qualities of a true role model. We'll now begin the presentation of the candidates. Ashley Acevedo. <laughs> Namit Agarwal. Rita Ahmed. <laughs> Nalini Arun Prasad. Harsh Borkataria, Isabel Celestino, Caitlin Figueredo, Deval Gadia, Prusviraj Golvapali, Pollock Grover, Supraj Gunda, Perrine Jadav, Antra Jane, Joshua John, Vaidehi Kayla, Om Kalola, Abigail Karras, Ganga Kara, Nimrath Karu Kanuja, excuse me, I'm sorry, Ira Kujalgi, Bridget Lutz, Zaima Mazumder, Advet Mishra, Daniela Pajak, Adarsh Pasamarte, Dia S. Patel, Kavya Patel. Krina Patel, Raina Patel, Krishna Pathak, Shruti, Rag Shruti Ragaram, excuse me, I'm sorry, 
Deep D. Rao, Mariella Rodriguez, Madeline Russell, Gaia Saravan, Tanya Sangavi, Sathya Senthil, Dia Shah, Nishka Shah, Yashvi Shah, Ishanya Singh, Shreya Singh, Arya Swaminathan, Chloe Tu, and Ashley Yamzan. We will now close the ceremony. A special thanks to Mayor McCormick, Dr. Zega, and Mr. Sedana for attending our ceremony. Thank you to Mr. T for providing the musical component. Sorry, Mr. Tomaszowski. <laughs> to parents, I'd like to extend my congratulations. Your continued support and guidance have developed the future leaders who stand before us today. Their dedication and commitment to bettering our community has set them apart from others. To students, continue to support and uphold the ideals of the Island Middle School Honor Society. You are scholars, you are volunteers, you are leaders, and most importantly, you are good citizens who value respect and empathy. As long as you keep these ideals close, you will surely find success in all of your endeavors. Please join us for some light refreshments in the back with the inductees as well. <laughs>